All right, everyone. It looks like this is going to be the final episode. At least, if this wasn't the final episode, I'd be I'm a little confused. Um, you, let's see what's going to happen. Let's talk to some people. Interesting question. Indeed. Will there be whispers on the other side? I was trying to talk to Barrett. So if we go through that thing, there's no coming back. Cloud, we should go. I uh I did equip Barrett with some materia, just not I mean he's not like an ideal setup, but he's got some block and provoke and Got a heal, and he's got poison and uh, ice, just so he, he has some materia in case I don't know who I'm gonna have to use. Jeez, that is grating. I will see while sitting there and setting up materia, uh, the background music is really cool right here. It, it changes through a lot of different songs. So, uh, I'm guessing final fight of the part one of the remake? This is a this is the part where it really shows that this is a remake, not a remaster. This is a completely redesigned overhauled game with a new story. Mirroring the first with some changes. By the first I mean the original. Wouldn't be the first time I spit in Destiny's eye. This is truth. And then he goes in there and they're all already dead because he took too long. I love Barry in this game. Especially now as a father. Myself. I guess uh, time flowed a little bit differently because he definitely took a lot longer than that. This is an interesting locale for the for a final boss fight. Don't know about you, but looks normal to me. I kind of just walked into a changed timeline though. Yeah, it looks a bit different. I like that purple smoke. Okay, that ain't right. <laughs> Bear, ever the astute one. Oh jeez. Rip that crane out of the ground. It's ripping the whole bridge apart. Or highway. And now there's one on both sides of them. I was gonna say, if it's lifting concrete and cranes out of the ground, how has it not lifted them by now? Guess we're going up there. Those purple lightning flashes are both bright and very cool. Pass out, I guess? And now it's like weightlessness. A really cool aerial view. I like the, how you can see like the city, the the roads and the train lines. I'm going into that like wormhole storm. Jesus, is that like a Genova creation? 
hyper whispered. It's very Kingdom Hearts Nightmare, but way more intense. Giant crystal ghost. Okay, it's creating a black hole. Is it going to throw the black hole? What is happening? Where is everyone else and what is happening? Okay. I guess I am running at it. Uh, this is really cool, but I still have no idea what's happening. Is this like pieces of Midgar that it's throwing around? Or is it just like aimless stuff now? Because there's like no ground. No discernible anything really. I like how there's just that mo that stationless like boss over there. You're Happy to see me? Wouldn't go that far. <laughs> so that thing. That's a whisper too, huh? Looks a lot more like an arbiter of fate than the other. We can beat them. Yeah? Tifa's like, I'm gonna punch it. Creating G whoa. Okay, a wind, a fire, I guess. Or that's a fire bar, they're just like avatars. Uh, it's got guns, swords, and something. Whisper Reburn? Okay. Whisper Oh my god, it shot laser beams. Okay, okay, calm down. Let's go ahead and uh, just go ahead and start with Assess. I have no idea what's happening here. Uh, Whisper Harbinger, Whisker, Whisper Rebrum, Whisper Viridi, and Whisper Crocio. Okay, an entity from a future timeline that has manifested in the present day. It fights with guns to protect the future that gave shape to it. Uh, it absorbs wind. Okay. Uh, I got you last. Uh, Rebram and the future. Uh, nah, 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 for the swords, it absorbs fire, and the other one, Rady, uh, it absorbs lightning. Okay, simple enough. Unable to read. So guns. Uh, barehanded is the other one. Okay, and an aceration of whispers, the so-called arbiters of fate. Creatures appear when someone tries to alter destiny's course. They are connected to off threads of time and space that shape the planet's fate. It's immune to everything. Okay. So Cloud can't really attack that guy because he's immune to fire. And he's a rage machine. Azure wave. Uh, got some hits in there. It's really hard to get anything going on these guys. So they just kind of flail a oh, laser beam. Okay. Let's have Cloud. I don't think we, can think we can throw off quite a whole Fire Aga, but let's throw a Fire on this guy. Unless this guy blocks it. Nope. That is a thousand. That's not too bad. What if we try a Fire Aga? Oh, he's casting Thundog. I don't know on who. Probably on Cloud. Boom. That did a good amount of damage. Uh, let's have Tifa haste, uh, haste us up. Uh, correction. We are guarding. They are being sucked in. And he blasts his way. And, okay. But, 
but can I heal up? No, because we're still on AT, we're still on like fight mode. This is very cinematic. But where's Aerith? I really wish I had Barrett cast uh, Regan on us during that time. We could have had our he health healing. Our dudes are back. And up, oh, they're back in that party. Cool, cool. Back with their ATBs they had, so I need her to haste Barrett, and then I need to switch to Barrett, which will ideally have them stop focusing on Cloud. And in the meantime, I can uh, get some ATB. It's gonna bop us a little bit. You don't have the, um, that's right, Aerith is the one that has the, uh, AoE. Um, well, Barrett, you do have just kind of... Barrier wouldn't be terrible. Um... I don't really know what they're doing. Uh, let's just throw a Kira on Cloud for right now. Switch back to Cloud, because he does have Prey. Can kind of get everyone up a little bit. Once this guy stops flailing on me. This guy stops what he's doing. Good old Prey. Carried me through this game. <laughs> There's an arc, and a burst, it's like a punch. Flare's been flailing, which I never guard in time. That red one will, will not get off my deck. Uh, Azure Burst. Okay, while well, you're doing that, let's go ahead and do, like... Maybe just... Maybe just, uh... Oh, triple Slash could work. Oh, the red one is immune to my magic damage. He's not immune to the physical, necessarily. Okay, always Flurry. Always with the Flurry. Tifa, why don't you... Um... Get your buffs, and then Barret does not have the ATB. Oh, he's doing Indomitable, whatever that does. Uh, I'm not sure what it does, but I want Cloud to have a cure. Okay, he's doing Lightning Ever is what he's doing. Let us throw out a Fire Aga. Or not. I know I couldn't really get that off, but I still wanted to. I think I can. No, Comstar's gonna hit me. Okay, now I might be able to get it off. Because it does good damage. Yeah. I think I just have to do an amount of damage to all of them to kind of move to the next phase. Intercession. To run to a new area, I'm sure. Blow up the bus. Okay. <laughs> a few hits that do nothing, but I do it just because. That is interesting that I like, counted as his hitbox. These are dudes. Or just the one dude. I don't want to switch to... Of course. That's a new move. That one was kind of crazy. Just double Crimson Arcs now. Flurry. Guard those. Crimson Arc. Doubles that. Have Barret throw out just a Blizzara. Twist. Okay, he doesn't really stop doing stuff. Um, maybe we just do a Rise and Fall just for damage and then an Omni Strike and then an Uppercut and then a Dive Cake. That did a lot of damage. 
Okay, he was like main combos so monstrous. Oh hey, he's pressured. I mean, his gauge isn't really doing anything, but Cloud's gonna do uh, I guess a braver and then a prey. And Tifa's going to Hey! Oh, there we go. That hurt him. So he's staggered. Should I try to fight? Hmm. I mean, that's, that is doing damage to the main body. Should I... Let's try to do like Fire Aga. See what happens. Nah, I think you're just supposed to kind of just wail on it. His health is coming back. Oh, we are going to do Prey though. Don't overdo it. Okay, let's go. Whatever. Maybe a little crazy there. Strike, whirling uppercut, and dive kick. The Tifa combo. I just got some fire aga. Glad I noticed that. Got buffs. Nope, nope, calm down. Calm down. Bad boy. Staggered. Do her thing to get that stagger percentage up. Okay, so that killed him, which damaged the main body. And cut off his arm. Alright. Uh, let's throw a mega potion on you. Don't know if that actually healed her. Did not look like it did. Hey, Earth's back. He's forming a new arm, or he's just shooting beams at us? Or memories? Yeah. From the op original opening. What the hell did I just see? Or the Advent we Children opening, are. rather. We failed you today. his arms back. Now we're gonna fight the other two dudes. Oh, and he's back, of course. How do we stop these things? Well, the big one is way over there. However, these guys are right here. Yeah. Coincidentally, I have the two guys who are not, uh... <laughs> The one or the the one guy who's resistant to fire is not here. Big old slash. Do a braver. And and do a braver. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Stop it. Get some punisher mode in there. Correction. He's correcting it. Oh, toss this way. Gonna focus on this blue guy. Boom. The big boom. Your burst. Kind of dodged right. Oh. I dodged into that and then got hit in the face. Offering. There's your plume. Now's a good time to go for this. Wham. Uh, let's have Barret. Can't do that, but what I could do is just give him an ether. And then have him use a. Uh, 
He's doing that. Let's throw a fire on this guy. There we go. I didn't find my, my stagger him. We can kind of go hard on him. Oh, if the other guy will let us. He's not going to let us. Ooh. May have tried going a little too hard there. Or it might be a better idea to try to just focus one down when that's going on. Um, or, fo or work on both of them. Don't give Cloud an elixir. No reason to hoard him. Uh, but first, I'm going to fire Aga this one. Boom. Amber Judgment. Okay. Uh, and do another fire Aga. Then I'll use an elixir. Roga. Hydroplume. Wind installed everywhere. Reformation. Okay, got okay. hit with the building. You know, as you do. Uh, now we're gonna pop an elixir for Cloud. No reason to hoard items at this point. And now he can throw out more fire agas. But for right now, just a fire will do. Boom. Another stagger. Now what if we try to stagger the other one at the same time? Oh, they're both staggered. So what if I do this? Will it just hit both of them? Let's go for it. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> that worked. That worked very well. I just happened to stagger both of them right on top of each other. And I could kind of just go hard right there. Ow. Bad boy. Oh. Oh. Okay. Natural wave. And, uh, how's a fire I got taste? Burn. And now while you're a little staggered, we're gonna be doing some braver. Yeah. And then we're gonna switch to Barret, and Barret's gonna overcharge. And then with that big amount of gauge, we're gonna throw a. No, I guess let's save this MP. We'll just do. Kinda wanna get a full of New Maximum Fury. There we go. Cloud Whales. There we go. He's dead. Getting a little crazy. Whoa. More memories. That would be Meteor. This can't be our future. <gasps> what I'm trying to figure out is are they showing they're showing the events of the original and or uh you know what would happen afterwards. Are they fighting to because they want that future? Or are they fighting because they want to prevent that? That's the thing I'm a little a little confused about. Because they don't want changes in the timeline, and this is all a change from the original. So are they trying to be like show off that like the original game is what they want to happen? No, my sword is fire elemental. Oh, okay, okay, all... Oh, we got hay. We got Aerith. Oh, Aerith is Cloud. There we go. <laughs> Took a second. That was funny that I was showing just Cloud while I was playing Aerith. Amber World, got that. There we go there. Calm down. Calm down. Um, let's do... Thundaga on... Red boy, uh, red boy. Tifa can haste uh, herself. Cloud can throw a fireaga on blue boy, and Earth can get staggered. That's fine. 
you're doing offering, which is something. They are doing try attack. Are we gonna turn into a big one or something? Yeah, whoa, they're gonna turn into a dragon. With uh, thunder arms, wind wings, and a fire head. Whisper Bahamut. Okay. Mm okay. Umbral strikes. Ooh, Jesus, and that was guard. I do want to point out that I was guarding that. And uh, that didn't matter at all. Earth shouldn't need to use Kiraga. Kira will pop her up. She's plentiful. Okay. Well, Tifa's got haste. I'm going to grab her last buff. And uh, uh, he's using Mega Flare. Um, let's go into Assess him. For starters. Uh, the solution of whispers and so-called arbiters of fate. No, they're all connected to the threads of time and space. The shape of planet's face is immune to a lot of things. Oh no, that's the harbinger. Uh, can I not switch to Bahamut? I guess I cannot. I may have done that when Bahamut was no longer targetable momentarily. But he's using Mega Flare, which did a good chunk of damage to everyone. What if I just killed everyone? Would you get a game over right there because you couldn't live through that? Either way, we're gonna do an AoE. Probably just an AoE. Nah. Yeah, because Cloud and Tifu's got some health, so we'll do an AoE Kiraga. Okay. And I thought Cloud was gonna run out of it for a second there, and I was gonna be a little grumpy at him. Let's, do this. Let's try to assess it, okay? Just, just trying to assess you. Calm down, maybe. Alright, Bahamut, as formed by the coalescence of three whispers. Alright, he's immune to no elements, which is good. Uh, he's resistant to most elements, so there's that. Alright, he's got 17,000 health, which is not extremely high. Umbral Inferno, his attacks are so pretty. Umbral Strikes. So you can't dodge those because they auto home, and you can't guard them either. So you kind of just uh, y your choices get hit. I think we're gonna go. Let's go Shiva. You willing to step up for us? Shiva versus Bahamut. Uh, Tifa, please go ahead and haste Cloud so we can get a prey going. Ow. Punched in the face. Alright. Aerith is going to die. Because I cannot get close enough to do anything, really. Um. Planet protection would be nice, assuming his attacks are physical. Um, on the off chance they're not, let's go ahead and just grab an AoE Kiraga real quick. And then Aerith can use her limit. So Planet Protection, I'm guessing he's like, there we go, there's some immunes. Now we can do some stuff. I'm guessing his like, Umbral thing is probably not physical. Okay, that didn't count as physical either. Being grabbed seems like it would be physical, technically. Uh, Regrab those buffs for when he gets staggered. Uh, Cloud. Throw a Fire Aga. And Aerith. Throw a Thumb Naga. And Tifa will just beat him up. Did a lot of damage. So I probably should have done that when he was pressured. She's gonna do her uh, finisher here in just a second. Should do a decent chunk, maybe like two or four thousand. Boosh. 
I looked away for just a second when I had no, wow, he's about dead. And he's dead. Are they gonna separate now and we gotta fight him again? Yep. Well, I, I figured out this combo's great because it keeps him staggered. Uh, although now, I've, now she's staggered. He is pressured. While he's pressured, I'm just going to do triple slash because it moves me around and gets me out of the way. He is knocked down. Aerith can do... let's do Ray of Judgment. Because that's kind of just like a bunch of hits to an enemy that's not really moving. And then she got, uh, and then she got stunned and then lost her gauge, which is unfortunate. If not unexpected, we're going to do do Infinity's End. And Tifa, I don't know, Ray of Judgment went off. It just took a while. Well, I like how they did two of their limit breaks. That's really cool. Now we're getting some memories of them fighting. They're getting banished. And they're back. But one of them's dead when we killed. Well, quote unquote killed. That was really cool and kind of uh, took me by surprise. I'm just gonna do this. To hopefully, just stagger him immediately. That was kind of a waste. Well, kind of a waste. Not really. We're gonna do rise and fall. Omni um, strike, whirling uppercut, dive kick. And he's dead now. Cause that combo is brutal. Hey, Tifa leveled up. My <laughs> materia, Aerith, and uh, you know what happens. And just one dude left. Now we got one more. And it's my nemesis, the red guy. Just getting enough ATP to use Prey. Moving Cloud out of there. Gonna switch to Aerith. He did not, he did not Prey. But that's okay because I have Aerith as a backup. Ooh. Don't know why I moved her towards that, I know. Well, I know why I wanted to do an AoE Kira, but you know. Why I did it while he was spinning, I don't know. It's my greedy brain that took over. Alright, he's using Fireaga. We are gonna use Ray of Judgment. Cloud needs to get ATB so we can try to throw out a prey. Probably should have saved that Ray of Judgment for when he gets staggered. Which is about to happen here in a second. Okay, he is staggered. I'm gonna have Cloud just pray. Because Tifa can take care of him all on, his, on, her, all on her own. With her double buff uh, combo here. The thing I love about that combo is even if she has no ATB, the three hits fills up her ATB at least one junk. Hey, I filled it up. I like how it's obscuring that scene because the people who have played the original can tell you know easily what it is, but people who have no idea, uh, it's too obscured for them to tell. Look at that, just going at it. Mind you, I switched to her, but she was trying to do. Oh, she's hitting. Oh, she's killing is what she's doing. You know what, Aerith? Get a Turbo Ether. So you can throw out a Thundaga. Get 
for the kill. Yep. <laughs> Cause she's strong. Although she does still have her bladed staff on, which is not ideal, like stat wise, but hey, that's okay. That was an intense fight. Don't know if that's going to be the final fight, or if there's going to be some more. I wouldn't be disappointed if that was the final. It was pretty intense. Where are we? We're in a new game. We've entered a new timeline. I'm waiting, Cloud. 